obviously my next career will not be break dancing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. How about I, you? No, I don't think so. Okay. No. But it's fun. To, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. That's a, that, that's a workout. How about that little girl? Four oh years God. old. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So cool. uh, I uh, want to tell you about a great project uh, that's going on at UNM, and uh, it's called uh, the UNM It's It's Up to Us um, project. And uh, with us today is uh, Dr. Manuel Montoya from the UNM Anderson School of Management, and you brought a student along. Uh, that's Manuel. Right. Victoria Pryor. She's uh, our team leader for the Up to Us competition. She's a member of a group called International Business Students Global. Oh. Very good. Yeah. And Victoria, what uh, you a sophomore? Yes, I'm. A, this is my second year at UNM, so uh -huh. I'm kind of between a sophomore and a junior, but good. sophomore works. Good. Very and what are you cool. working towards? What's your degree? Um, I'm working towards a dual degree in international management and economics. Wow, Wonderful. that's very impressive. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit about what Up to Us is. Yeah, go ahead. So Up to Us was formed um, out of a partnership between Net Impact, the Peter G. Peter Peterson Foundation, and um, the Clinton Global the Clinton Initiative. Global Initiative. I'm sorry. That's right. <laughs> and yeah. what we are is we are competing in a national competition to raise awareness on our college campuses about the federal debt and fiscal sustainability. Mm. So our goal is really to just engage and educate the students on what debt is and why it should matter to us now. So, big topic. Yeah, yeah, that is a huge topic. Um, so what are y'all doing just here at UNM and in the community to kind of teach people about debt? Because unfortunately, you're right. A lot of people kind of go day-to-day -day life like, oh, whatever. It doesn't affect me. Exactly. Yeah. One of the things we try to do is address um, this issue from many, many different dimensions. Mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure that people were thinking about not just the numbers. You can, you can get the numbers from any website. The Department of sure. Treasury will tell us what kind of debt we have. But how do we even think about debt in our, our society today? What, what, are, what are the things that get us thinking about obligations to other people? So we've been trying to create uh, discussions where, we create a, where we're creating a resolution to think more broadly about and criti think critically about the debt, mm -hmm. philosophically, psychologically, socially, culturally, all of the different things that make debt what it is. It, the reality of the situation is my generation is not going to have to really deal with it. Right. Uh, this is a generation that will have to get its arms around it in some way and uh, figure out a way to satisfy this debt as, as a nation. And there, there are solutions. That's the good news, right? Right. Well, that's the fundamental question. What happens when you pass on an obligation to a future generation? How do you deal with that? How do you contend with those implications? And I think they've done a wonderful job in creating a really wonderful way that uh, campaign that resonates with students. Uh, they have a great parody that they made of the Breaking Bad, the hit TV show Breaking Bad. They call it Breaking Bank. Uh, and, I actually uh, saw that video, yeah. as a matter right. of fact. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a YouTube link up. And the basis of the competition, if you can elaborate on how the competition is judged, yeah, so we're competing against 23 other schools across the nation. A bunch of them are really big name schools, so we're really excited that UNM got to the finalist stage. Um, we're judged on a bunch of different criteria. Some of the main ones, though, is the number of views we get on our YouTube video. Oh. Our goal is 10,000. We're right around 1,500, so we're doing really well, That's but so we always need more. Uh, another component is a Facebook quiz that uh, Up to Us has put together for us. It's a really quick and easy five-question Facebook quiz, just testing some basic knowledge about the debt. Um, the main thing, if you guys at home are going to go take it, you have to choose UNM as your school. Otherwise, we don't get the benefit from it. But the Facebook quiz, the YouTube video, attendance at our events is such a big deal. Um, we have a resolution that we put together um, at a roundtable discussion the other week, and we're trying to get people to sign off on that, saying, you know, we support this. This is something that needs attention and that we need to focus on and so we've been sending that around to different student groups and deans and professors and so that's something out there um, I don't know is, is this only for UNM campus or can anybody participate in this anybody we'd, we'd actually like to reach out to the broader New Mexico community mm -hmm. and uh, get people in, you know enthusiastic about thinking about all the different ways yeah. that we've been Dr. Montoya the, the the discussion about a national debt, it's, let's frankly, it's not very sexy, right? It's, it's, 
like you said, you can find those numbers anywhere. It's getting what, behind what those numbers mean. Right. And I'm interested, from your perspective and from yours, uh, how this discussion goes. Are the students taking this as a serious question and a serious issue? Absolutely, yeah. There's a lot of different ways that uh, students have been contributing really fresh ideas. For example, in the last roundtable discussion, we had several students talking about historical traumas. So what is it about consumption? Uh, why is it that we're, um, in many communities, we're willing to go into debt to consume and to um, buy things that we probably don't need, but in a lot of ways, right. we do that so that we don't appear, that we keep up appearances, especially in this country. I mean, we have such a vaunted tradition of equality and justice and, and freedom, but those, those become very, very complicated things when you've lived in structural poverty for the majority of your life. So right. debt becomes a very, very common part of how you, how you think about the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right. So are you actually helping people with dealing with their debt then? Or, or just kind of more educating them? Like, this is what the debt is. This is what our nation's debt is. And you need to know about this. I think we're perceiving this as a very, very long-term project. The campaign is only one component. Yeah. And if our students win the campaign, they get to join former President Clinton at his uh, Clinton Global Initiative discussion as yeah. panelists. Oh, wow. But our hope is that we turn this into an ongoing project where we constantly, we, we're a service to the community to mm -hmm. think about that, but also get people to coordinate with support groups and with other organizations that are uh, thinking about uh, private consumption and all sorts of other things. Uh, we put the, the website info up on our uh, screen, and this is a fascinating discussion. I, I hope to have you back and give us a progress report on yeah. this. Really well. appreciate Warren, that. Um, Levelathon will be here in, in a couple of weeks talking about their thing, and we made a partnership with them where if we win this competition, we're going to be able to give ten thousand dollars to Levelathon and the Children's Miracle Network Hospital at UNM. So wow. they'll Victor definitely be a little bit of follow-up. Victoria, so great, so great to have you. Thank you, <laughs> thank Dr. You, Montoya. Really thank, thank you. you. Our guests, and we'll be back with more on the Morning Brew in just a moment.